Tell me that you love me Even if it's fair Hi guys, welcome back to Deadman J1990. We are here today for the Gran Turismo Sport Beta. Um, I've had about mm, half an hour, if that, playing this game. It's, um, hmm, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's, uh, Get out of the way. There we go. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely not as good as I thought it was. Um, we'll just run through a, a couple of little things. Um, we'll notice that the the HUD on the main racing screen is too much stuff on the HUD, and you, there is no way of switching it off, moving bits about, things like that. Um, The the steering still it. I mean, I know it's supposed to be a simulator and all that, but it just doesn't seem responsive. Not like on say like games like Project Cars and things like that. I mean, I went off Gran Turismo after the fifth game came out, and um, I've never been sort of back since really. Um, but we'll we'll have another go. On uh, give this one a good go. Uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll just do the. Uh, um, the ring road first, the speedway. Uh, do it in the afternoon. Graphics on it, graphically, it looks amazing. It's it's incredible. Um, I mean, some of the the cars that we've got in the in the beta, obviously, it's not a lot. Um, we have the Mazda MX-5 Roadster. Uh, you got the GT8 Toyota GT86, um, Volkswagen Golf, GTI. Alfa Romeo 4C, BMW M4, ooh, too far, uh, Lexus C, uh, RCF, the AMG GT, and the Lancia Evolution rally car. But you also get, um, as a first car, you also get the Mustang um, rally car, which is quite nice. Uh, so for this one, uh, what am I going to use? Oh, we'll use the 4C. I think I have it in white. Because it looks lovely in white. Uh, intermediate. But yeah, um, loading screens, not too bad. Um, I've obviously I've turned off the music. Just in case. Copyright, you know, the, the normal thing. This happens every time on the loading screen. When it does preparing, it actually starts the the car up. And revs the bollocks out of it, um, and it, it, it that changes every time depending on what car you use. It actually has the proper sound for each car that you're using, um, which I, which I quite like. Um, so uh, right here we go. As you can see, all the amount of stuff that is in the HUD. The only things you can change. Let me just make. Oh, is down in the bottom right hand corner we're using the d-pad using the left and right d-pad you can only change that bit uh, which is course map radar the section the section best ts uh, tcs whatever the hell that means um, your brake balance and that's it in the course map that's pretty much it you can't not like in project cars where you can either turn off the hub or you can put what you want on um, we've got everything just scattered everywhere um, but as I said about the the, uh, the steering as well it's I mean I know it's, it's a simulator but Project Cars is a simulator as well and it's got better steering mechanics than this um, I'm not saying it's a bad game I mean I know I'm going to get a bit of hate from people saying oh G the GT series is the best series I'm, I'm not saying that GT is the best one of the best series of racing games out there, but um, you've got to think about it's not the only one they, these days. There's a lot of more competition and a lot more racing games that are actually better, which I will say. Um, the thing I really didn't like when starting up this beta was the amount of settings you had to go through, um, display settings, 
Um, obviously, most games it will ask you for obviously the size of your screen, and then it will give you a couple of gamma um, settings. You do them, perfect, fine. This, uh, you have the size of your screen, you have two gamma settings, then you, it asks you if it's a HDR screen or not, then it'll ask you if you're running in 2K or 4K, so it's about 5-10 ten, ten minutes before you actually get the opening sequence. Oh, yeah, you say it's about 5 or 10 minutes just of display settings. It started to get a bit numb <laughs> after about 2 minutes. But as you can tell, I'm not I'm not trying on this uh, on this race. I'm just we're just going through um, what this game is actually like. Um, we just come out of in-car camera. I mean, it's it is absolutely stunning. This game, the uh, the graphics are incredible. But it just just like every other GT game, really, um, isn't there's not a lot differing about it. Um, I think all there basically is is uh, new cars, possibly a few more different tracks. That's basically it. Um, it's just another GT game, really. That, that's uh, that. <laughs> what more can I say? Um, at the moment, we're on lap eight out of ten, position nine out of twenty or so. Uh, yeah, we're not doing too bad. We're better than halfway. I think as well, I think if this was Project Cars as well, my tyres would have been shredded by now. But they're still white according to this. <laughs> and we're on the final lap. I want to get past this. I want to get past this lot. But I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't think I've got the legs to do it. Go on, go on, go on. Get on the inside, get on the inside. We cooked it. No, we're going to be ninth. Oh dear. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but as soon as you finish the race, everyone's hazard lights come on. I don't know. I just have no idea. Right, these are the um, the earnings you get after every race now. So you get your prize money, which goes up there into your credits. You also get your mileage points, you get distance, and you get an experience. So we have loads of um, different currencies and things like that now. Um, okay, my daily workout is complete. Receive it. Receive a gift card. Oh, okay. Do I have to stop it? Oh no, it's doing itself. What am I getting? Oh, I've got a Ferrari. Oh, very nice. We've got a 458 Italia GT3. Oh, yes, please. Oh, we can have a go at that, shall we? Right, well, I'll just show you the... Um... Oh, it won't uh, go over there. Uh, yeah, apparently there's uh, a mileage exchange. So you can go into the brand centre, um, which basically you can go into Europe, Asia, or America. So if we go into Europe... And then obviously it's got all the different um, categories of cars from the different comp uh, different companies and different um, countries. So if we go into McLaren for the United Kingdom, then obviously uh, you've got the showroom here, then you've got uh, Vision Gran Turismo, which basically you can just have a look at the car, channel, whatever the hell that is, uh, related sports. Blech, don't know. So we go into the showroom. This is where we can actually buy these certain cars obviously not all the cars are in the game so far because obviously it's just a beta so this is the mp4-12c which is the one you want um so you want it in orange and it's going to cost you 225,000 credits i have 73,000 so you can't buy that but that's obviously the way you spend your credits on this but there is uh where well, you had your mileage points I've got 710 mileage points, if you see in that top corner up there. This is another way of buying different things. You can buy different helmets, um, different paints, uh, different decals and things like that. 
um, different rims and things like that, different wheels. Um, the only problem is this isn't uh, open yet. None of this is open. Uh, the mileage store is all shut at the moment. So uh, you can't do any of that. Um, what I will do is I will go into... Not like that. Um, I will go into the home and just have a look at this Ferrari. Oh, wrong one. That's my Mustang. Garage. There it is. Change car. And the great thing is you can actually change all the liveries on all the cars, which is really, really nice. Uh, so you're not actually stuck with the same liveries and things like that. So if we load this one in, uh, original colour. Is that the only colour I can have? Oh, hang on, no, I'm in the wrong one. Uh, sorry. Let's just back out of that. Right, I forget. Yeah, here we go. We go to live. <laughs> Would have I clicked on the right one, wouldn't it? Get out of it. Right, livery editor. There we go. So we go new design, click on the, the Ferrari, and then we can change the paint. So we can have it, we could have it in a solid colour, or I think I think we can only have it, yeah, oh, well, we can only have this one in a solid colour, which is never a good thing. Um, so we could we could have a, a classic Ferrari red, or we could have it uh, either Ferrari yellow, which would be nice. Um, which actually looks really nice. Come in. Yeah, that one there. So if we have the yellow. Oh, there we go. We can change. So we can have it pearl if we like. Which looks quite nice. Yep. Uh, apparently we could use mileage points to inquire different things. Uh, but what the good thing is as well is we can go into rear wing and just change the colour of the rear wing so we can have that nice black like that and then we can change the, the wheel colour um, and have them in the same yellow as the car have them pearl as well but then obviously then you've got decals as well which um, is, is, is just what you think it is you go into body, add layer left right or roof these are different camera options that you can get um, projection method okay Ooh, wrong one. there we go so you can select your decal we haven't got a lot on here but um, it's just random things like shapes uh, logos so these are fantasy logos so they're not real um, brand logos here we go so you got Bosch GoPro Gran Turismo, NGK, Puma, Pirelli Shell. <coughs> but here's the ones I like. You go to Media Logo. And you got 4Gamer.net, uh, PlayStation, IGN, Game Watch, MTV, uh, Unilag Gaming, Samurai Gaming. Um, what else we got? The fantasy logos. These aren't real. Uh, then you've got course logos, which aren't there. Course experience, which also aren't there. Uh, and then you've got fonts. All these different fonts. So yeah, that's basically uh, the same. But you can also um, do this with your driver's helmet. Um, with the um, your driver's suits. And things like that. And it changes your pick crew as well. Okay, so what we'll do now is... Um, just have one more race, and uh, what we'll do is we will. We will. Uh, that's that one. Um, that basically goes the other way. Yeah, we'll do that one again. Uh, not again, but I've already done this one. Um, but we will use my Ferrari. Let's see what it's like. My bright yellow Ferrari. I bet you this is going to be pretty fast. It's nice to have Ferrari back in the game. Um, 
I don't know exactly how many car companies are in this game, but I know there is a few of them. Let's have a listen. Mm, that sounds nice. Oh yeah. What was it? NSX in this uh, and a Beetle apparently. Corvette. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's just get on with this. Let's go. Oh dear. There we go. Oh Christ! No. This thing is quick. Break, 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 break. Yes, I am breaking. That does look nice in yellow. Better than for just a plain red. Whoa, I've lost it! Oh dear. Thank you. No, I've completely hushed that up. Let's retry that. <laughs> Obviously, I'm using the uh, controller on this, but um, I guarantee it would be fun on the wheel. If I do a Lamborghini in front of me, I can't get past. I'll take him on the inside. I'll take him on the inside. Come on. That's it. Break, break, break. <coughs> Come on, you bastard out of your way. Oh, that's a bit of a cut there. So I didn't penalise me, as it all were. Take there. Get the slipstream, let's take the Aston. Is the Aston gone. Another Ferrari in front of me. Oh! That's one way of passing a Ferrari. A Viper. Persian, it is. There we go. Shitting Peugeot. Oh, someone spun out. Beamer spun out there. Just put me up to third now. Would be nice to get a podium finish. 
Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, get past the GT. Get past the GTR, come on. Whoa. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. I'm not sure if I'm going to get first place, but I'm, I'm right in second. GTR just took us. Ah, oh, finished third. Oh, there was that cock up at the end. There we go. So, yeah, so I've got 5,000 prize money, 80 mileage points, 6.9 miles of distance I did, and I've got 40 experience points. So, yep. I'll do just stick the replay on and uh, just have a quick chat about the game itself. Um, all in all, uh, let me just turn the game down a little bit. There we go. Uh, all in all, um, it's a good good beta. Um, and uh, there's a few slight things I don't like about it. Um, obviously the, the main HUD in the actual racing. Um, don't know if it rooms up nice and yellow. Um, yeah, the main HUD during racing uh, is a bit too much of it. Um, the steering's still a bit numb. Um, but graphically, it looks amazing. Um, it does play quite well, um, apart from the steering issues. Um, but all in all, to me, it's just another Gran Turismo game, really. Not a lot has changed on it. Um, you still have the, the, the drift section, you, you, have, you have the rally sections, and you have the just the standard racing sections. Um, so personally for me, it's not a not a new game, it's just a, an up-to-dated Gran Turismo game. Um, I would prefer a game like Project Cars to play. Um, on that note, uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Ta-da.